of Harmon School of Seventh-day Adventists. I am with my vice principal, Mr. Ken Mapp, and uh, my business manager, Miss Cassandra D. George. And I'm happy to be with them at this time and to continue working as a team. We have really come a long way and I know we are going to take this school to higher heights with Jesus. As principal, I have made a conscious effort to build relationships among staff members, that's between myself and them, and also build relationships in their little either committees or teams or departments. I have focused a lot on, or I am focusing a lot on raising the bar, ensuring that we are the excellent school. So even in the library, it is my vision that we can have a bigger space and the library will not just be about books, but we can extend our media system so that the students can have an online library and they can even access the library materials from their home. This school for the community is known as a disciplined school. And one of the reasons we can be considered a disciplined school is because for our students, we have not tried to make our methods very punitive. We have made them more positive and about changing behaviors. So then you would find that two students get into a fight. And one of the first things we will do is allow the students to report what happened. So you create an atmosphere where they can reflect. They can reflect on where did I go wrong? What could I have done differently? And then the adult having more knowledge than the students would sit them down and counsel them. So even if the consequence might be in school suspension is not just I am on my own doing this suspension. I am coming in, I will meet with the dean, I would interview the dean, the dean might ask me to read a book, I may have to do some community service, but at the end the students are better for who they are and they seldom will repeat that behavior and to me that's really great of a school and that's why some students when they come from another school they are able to say this school is different i guess it's different because too we see everybody as family you may not know their name all of their names 
but you would sure put a face to that body in front of you. An adult will not pass on this compound and ask you, how are you going? Um, why are you not studying? You know, they would find out about you. Even the teachers, they would go the extra mile to allow the students to get their assignments done, SBAs. I really love when we have Max Camp because that's a time you could interact with the students more, get to know them, and then you're helping them with their maths. I love to, when we have year group retreats, this is a time we take the students to another place, somewhere they can socialize together. And they're not socializing alone with their peers, they're socializing with adults. So they are hearing about adults' experiences in life and what brought them through. And you would find that after this retreat, the students have a different perspective on life. And to me, that is remarkable and really unique. And it has been a strategy that helped all school or students achieve. In my years ago I had some colleagues come here to visit our school it was part of our DPED program and uh, our simple staff worship on mornings that was a biggie for those staff members my colleagues they actually said you know what it will be like working here every morning you come in and you're meeting your colleagues this team spirit um, effect you're meeting to sing of god's goodness and then to pray together so you're leaving the staff room empowered to teach the students and to know that i'm not going into the classroom alone i'm going with my friends supporting me and I'm going with God supporting me as well. For, for those who came, the first thing that stood out to them was where we were located. Mm -hmm. We are located in a, a urban area so you expect to hear the buzz of the um, transportation business mm -hmm. however somehow in this valley is a uh, quietness it's like you could almost hear when the wind blows the birds chirp and uh, the ravine or river running by and that for us create a peaceful and quiet environment so that the students can concentrate on what they came here to concentrate on learning Part of our philosophy also is to keep it simple so we would have uh, counsel with our students even with their uniform the uniform might look very unique but that's a way for them to keep discipline and to not concentrate on style but to keep the focus on I've come to make myself a better person so that I can relate to those who I have to relate when I go to a workplace or for higher learning. Because as we 
always my dream to come to Harmon. Um, I guess for me, I'm a person, a peaceful person. Um, somebody who don't like a lot of crowd. Well, crowd. So, Hammer would have been my choice because of how small it is. Mm -hmm. And I have always been a spiritual person. So having that spirituality as a thread throughout my uh, secondary school journey would have meant a lot to me. I love also what we do at the end of every Monday and Friday chapel. There is what is called a mantra and the students repeat the mantra. Even after leaving school, you would see some of them putting up on Facebook this mantra. And I will end with the mantra. The mantra simply says, because I'm a child of God, success is mine. Because I'm a child of God, success is surely mine. And because I'm a child of God, success is definitely mine. In my sorrows, Lord, walk with me. One thing that I would like you to remember about all Hammond School of Seventh-day Adventists is that every single success story that comes out from here, we accomplished it not by our own might nor our own power, but by God's Spirit. And that's what we live for. We live to write his story. And we'll continue doing that. <laughs>